Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how we can fix the LVR climbing feature to keep blinking in the A32 Annex. Uh, as you can see currently uh, autopilot has been switched to on. Also auto throttling has been enabled but for some reason it keeps blinking like this which is a, I would say kind of weird right so the only way to fix it is by really reducing the throttle to zero but that's kind of weird because if you now look at the throttle right it's set to zero which doesn't make any sense so if we increase it a bit to the climb one you can see that it fixes the issue however it's not the real fix because in a few minutes it will start to let's say blink again as you can see uh, or I would say if I would make a screenshot of my uh, throttle uh, joystick in, and then compare it with the throttle which you now currently see in the A32 NX it doesn't make any sense right if, even if I put it to, to zero it will now go back to uh, null which is good but in some cases I've seen that this one even goes back completely back to uh, reduce functionality and goes into reverse so let's look how we can fix that issue well to fix it we can first make sure that we're of course in a safe place on the ground and not fix it in the aircraft itself while flying so we're gonna switch to one of the airports let's uh, say Lisbon and then uh, pick one of the uh, ramps uh, parking large and then we're gonna load it because this could happen right i didn't encounter it always but i saw it suddenly happening and after i think an update of the a32 and x update uh it might also have something to do with i would say the installation of a new device for example if you bought a new joystick that could also happen then you need to do a trick and that trick is i would say is really simple uh as you can see currently uh, the throttle has been set correctly but if that isn't the case you need to go to the fly pad because the fly pad allows you to calibrate your device and to calibrate your device you will need to go to the uh, gear and inside the gear you will find the detents calibrate option and here you have multiple options one of them is in my case disabled because i only have one axis but if you've got i would say a joystick which has two axes to i would say control both the left and the right engines then you can switch on this option and you also have the option to switch on or off the reverse on axis and that simply means that you will have an option to go to i would say to put the throttle in a reverse stand which means that you can um i would say drive backwards with the aircraft uh not all the joysticks have that option if that's the case then you should disable this option so now everything is set we can start calibrating it so if we want to recalibrate the idle state which is what we're what we want to do right now right because uh, as you can see it's set to zero in this case which is good but we can recalibrate it so we can say okay set right then we go to the climb one and to set the climb one we first need to put the throttle in climb state so we're gonna do that that's this one and then again we're gonna press set from throttle then we've got the FLX which is the next option as you can see so we're gonna go one piece further until you hear the click and we press set from throttle again and then we go to the touch and go which is in most cases full throttle and then press set from throttle again so once you've done that you've recalibrated your joystick right that that's i would say the way i would do it um if for some reason you want to change the values or you bought a new joystick you need to do this completely from scratch there's also an option which is called uh, load from file and then it will revert back to the previous settings as you can see um, if you don't want to do that uh, you need to hit back and then go 
to calibrate again and normally it should have it but it looks like that it now completely messed up the settings so let's uh, see if it works so this is idle so let's do it from scratch in that case again <laughs> you can see what happens now right see after loading the defaults now if i put my throttle back to zero it's actually in complete reverse mode and that might be something i do not want so we're gonna disable the reverse mode and then i'm gonna set the throttle and then if you would look at the throttle again probably we need to calibrate it again come on why doesn't it work probably because i didn't hit apply see now it works so don't forget to hit the apply button as i just, as I just forgot so we're gonna reset the climb again so. set from throttle and then we're gonna go to avalax also set from throttle and then finally we need to make sure that we're gonna go full steam ahead and then click save and apply that will save the configuration and from there on the joystick configuration or the throttle configuration should be okay as uh just remember as just discussed you might need to recalibrate your device if you're buying a new joystick or connecting a new joystick to it so keep that in mind here ends this how-to. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about my new videos, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.